Hi everyone, it's Mao from Sparkly Belly. This sparkly belly dance and ballroom necklace was requested by some of you, and I'm so happy I gave it a try. It's a simple project, yet you get a pretty big result. Once you make it, you can wear it with any outfits. Let me show you how you can make yours. Let's get started. To make this sparkly necklace, you need paper, just a regular paper to make a pattern with. Or you can download my pattern from my blog for free at sparklybelly.com slash necklace. Felt. One to two millimeter thick felt in the size of the pattern is all you need. A stiffer kind that has some body to it is easier to use for this project. Snap button. If you use my pattern, make sure the size of the snap button is smaller than one centimeter or three eighths of an inch. Earring studs, if you're making matching earrings. Rhinestones, you can find out how many of each rhinestone I used on my blog. And rhinestone glue. First, make your pattern. I made this plain pattern first, then traced it and added different shapes to it. You can download my pattern from my blog, so you can print it out and use it as it is. Or like I did here, trace the plain one and draw your own design on top. It helps to have the center line, especially if you're working on a symmetrical design. And if you have stones that you want to use, you can make the shapes according to the sizes of the stones. For symmetrical design, cut out half the design, fold it at the center line and trace it onto the other side. Then cut out the rest. Try the paper pattern around your neck and if you need to add length, add it to the ends. The ends should overlap by 1 cm or 3 eighths of an inch when you close them, so take that into account. Now take your felt and place the pattern on the wrong side and trace the shape. And cut out the shape carefully. Use a sharp pair of scissors and try to cut the design very neatly. And since we have some leftover material in the center, trace the earring pattern there. And cut them out. At the ends of the necklace, sew on the snap button. The socket side goes on the right side and the stud side goes on the wrong side. And decorate it as you like. I recommend you place large pieces first so you can see how to fill the rest of the areas with small rhinestones. For these vine-shaped areas, work from the ends to make sure they're filled nicely there. Apply stones all the way to the ends of the necklace and once you're finished, leave it overnight for the glue to dry. For the earrings, decorate them in the same way, then flip them and glue on the studs on the back sides. Place them in the top half of this round shape. And your sparkly necklace and earrings are complete! They're very sparkly and pretty, and I love that now I have a jewelry set to go with any of my costumes. It's a fun project and doesn't require sewing except for sewing on the snap button. So if you want to try a simple accessory project, I'd love for you to try this necklace. I hope you enjoyed this sparkly belly dance and ballroom jewelry tutorial. And if you did, please share this tutorial with your dancer friends. Again, if you want the necklace and earrings pattern, you can download them for free from sparklybelly.com slash necklace. And if you want to try making more belly dance costuming bits, check out my free email course, Belly Dance Costume Making 101 at sparklybelly.com slash free course. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!